Hello, my name is Terry Kylo from Paths to Understanding. This is a time of many pandemics, COVID, of course, racism, economic challenges, environmental challenges. But of course, it's also a time of a pandemic of loneliness. Before the pandemic, roughly 50% of all Americans said they were chronically lonely. The pandemic is only making this worse, and this is not good for us. For instance, in the Hebrew scripture, the Creator recognized that it was not good for the human one to be alone and created a strong partner. Together, they would not be alone. To be in community is to be in the presence of someone different from us, but who is also for us. In other words, diversity is an answer to our loneliness. Our wholeness as human beings requires being in the presence of those different from us. To be with those different from us, while being for us and us for them. What Genesis 1-3 through 3 proposes for human beings, Genesis 12 proposes for human communities. The Abrahamic tradition began with the Creator calling Abraham to be a blessing to all the peoples, nations, cultures of the world. In other words, our wholeness as human communities requires being in the presence of groups different from us, while being for us and us for them. White nationalism or white supremacy, as ideologies, deny this. They believe that only those who are the same can live together. Further, they believe that there is a hierarchy of cultures with theirs at the top, and they've been losing their sense of being in a privileged place in the United States, and they experience this as being disinherited, as being oppressed. How lonely. We saw the terrible, inevitable consequences of white nationalism and white supremacy on January 6, 2021. I believe that communities of wisdom, grounded in their own tradition, are critical to our healing as a people. When communities of wisdom, temples, mosques, churches, community groups relate in mutual respect and find joy and purpose for the common good, we become a signal and a sign of hope that we can live together given our cultural differences. And that those differences are vital, actually, to our survival and the thriving of our planet. You see, we can come to better solutions because we bring the best of our diverse perspectives to understand our problems and propose what to do about them. In doing so, we will find that we are not alone and invite others to join us and to bring all they have to bring. In doing so, we will commit ourselves both to our own humanity, but also to the core of our own traditions. Creating these connections so that we're not alone is why Paths to Understanding exists. We invite you to connect with us to join our Paths Network, take one of our online courses, and most importantly, find partners to work with you so that we can work for the common good together and realize that we are not alone.